Place the instrument on a level solid surface and remove the support screws on the back of the test chamber. Fix the cover support frame with screws in the screw holes on the back of the test box. External hard pipe discharge of the drain port. The external drain pipe is always lower than the drain port height. Connect the saturated tank automatic water supply port and connect the pressurized water at other end insert the drain into the saturated bucket drain to drain the waste. The exhaust port can be connected with an external hose or a rigid PVC pipe please be sure to keep the exhaust pipe open so as not to affect the normal discharge of salt spray. If the exhaust pipe is clogged the pressure in the working chamber will increase continuously which will cause the cover to be opened by the gas mist which will affect the whole test. The user must pass the discharge salt spray to the outside. Connect external air source. Customers need to bring their own air compressor and air pressure cannot be less than 0.2 MPA. Please turn off the air supply when installing so as not to damage the instrument too much air pressure. Install the V-shaped sample holder. And install the sample hanger. Install the salt mist collector. Install the salt spray box cover. Light on when over temperature. Light on when the chamber water level is not enough. Light on when the test reaches the set time. Light on when there is no spray. Light on when spraying fog. Light on when there is not enough water in pressure barrel. Light on when over temperature in pressure barrel. Control the total test time. Control the temperature of the saturated bucket. Cumulative spray time. Cycle turn on it. Interval spray according to the set procedure. Fog turn on it. The chamber fog will force discharge out. Timer turn on it. Timer start record time. Spray turn on it for continuous spray. Run turn on it. The instrument power on display related parameter. Power turn on it. The machine power on and starts working. Cycle timer above is the spray time below is the spray interval. Chamber temperature control the temperature of the chamber. Turn on the power switch. Open the valve and add water to the bottom of the test chamber until the low water level on the left side of the panel is off. If the test room is short of water during the test the light will illuminate and the instrument will automatically replenish the water until the light is off. Saturated barrel with water Saturated barrel is made of metal so the added water should be distilled water or deionized water until the low water level light on the right side of the panel is off. The light indicates that the test room is 
short of water and the off light means the test room is full of water. There is a transparent PVC pipe on the back of the instrument this is used to observe the water level in the saturated barrel. The water level is up to 4 fifths of the water pipe if the water level is reduced to 1 half please replenish the water in time to prevent the cause. Water shortage leads to trial interruption affecting the test process. Add water to the seal tank. The seal tank around the upper part of the tank is filled with tap water before the test. It should not be overfilled. After closing the lid the water level just misses the edge of the lid. Add the prepared test solution brine. The test solution should be filtered before it is added to the brine storage tank to prevent solid substances from clogging the nozzle. Put into the sample the test surface of each sample is up to 20 degree plus minus 5 degree the vertical angle. Then close the cover. Turn on the operation button set the required test temperature for the normal neutral salt spray test we set the temperature of the test chamber to 35 degrees celsius press the button in the lower right corner of the screen to adjust and the temperature of the saturated barrel is 2 to 3 degrees celsius higher than the temperature of the test chamber so we set at 37 degrees celsius adjust the inlet pressure to 0.2 mpa Turn on the spray button the instrument starts to run and ensure that the pressure gauge on the operation panel shows a value of 1 kg per square centimeter. Read by the pressure gauge on the operation panel if there is any deviation it may be adjusted by the adjustment switch below. Clockwise increase and counterclockwise decrease. If you need the timing function turn off the spray button. Set the duration of the test. You can select the time unit in the last column. After setting turn on the spray and time switch and the instrument starts running when the running time arrives the instrument automatically stops. If you need interval spray remove the instrument protection case. The following is to set the spray time such as setting twos. The above is set the stop time such as setting threes. After setting turn on the spray timer and cycle. The instrument starts running. If the button cycle is turned off the instrument will not spray at intervals even if the interval spray time is set. After the test is completed turn off the spray time and program control switch to observe the sample before observe please open the misting button and let the fog be removed for 5 to 10 minutes before opening the lid. If the lid is opened directly the salt spray will corrode other instruments. After the test please open the drain valve drain the water inside the machine and clean the workshop to prepare for the next test.